hi guys welcome back to my channel so today you guys i'm recreating some diyz gallery inspired side table but i decided of course to use a different color and i'm not sure if this color is bronze or rose gold because i ordered for rose gold and this is what was delivered so kindly leave a comment down below and let me know which color is this exactly Supplies for this table, you will need plywood, mirror pieces, nails, mirror adhesive, hammer, wood glue and spray paint. So first grab your plywood, I had some in my store and the new ones I ordered from my local lumber yard. So you will measure 30 by 30 centimeters and then draw a straight line using a ruler and start cutting them down. You can measure as many pieces as possible as I'm doing depending on the length of your wood before cutting them down. I'll be using a handsaw to cut them down and you guys it is really easy so you shouldn't worry about doing it yourself at home. Or you could just uh, actually have each of your cuts made for you at the lumber yard if you prefer. And now I'm done with the first 14 pieces of 30 by 30 centimeters uh, that I'll need for this project. The pieces will cover the top and the bottom part of the square cubes. Moving on to the next one, so for the size of our square cubes, we will need equal size of 7.5 by 30 centimeters. But since the thickness of plywood varies, I had to minus X and Y from the actual measurements so that I can have 5.7 by 30 centimeters. And by the way, I would love to appreciate you guys for really supporting this channel. I'm deeply blessed to have special, unique and amazing people in my life. Thank you so much for being a blessing and uh, for being part of this journey. And if you are new to this channel and you like this type of videos, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell. And now I have a total of 28 pieces. The first 14 they measure 5.7 by 30 centimeters and the rest they measure 5.7 by 28.2 centimeters. On my left side I have 30 by 30 centimeters pieces. Now we need to bring these pieces together but first we need a wood glue, hammer, nails and um, just to add something the thickness of this plywood is thin so you have to use these small thin nails to avoid splitting the wood and also uh, you will need a rug to wipe fresh glue off our pieces Place a line of wood glue along the edges as I'm doing. Then I will advise you guys to use a tape to help hold the pieces together. I didn't have a tape so here was a little bit hard and time consuming. Also 
also make sure you position the nails close enough to the edge if your nails are too far from the edges they'll miss connecting with the plywood and that will just be a waste So after the nails are in place, flip it up and down, place the 30 by 30 centimeters on both sides and hammer in nails at each corner. I'm done with the first box. I did the same to the rest of the pieces and here we have our seven boxes. Now um, we will go outside and spray paint them. You will want to know why I spray paint the edges of the boxes. So um, before you glue the mirrors to the boxes, it is a good idea to paint or finish it so you can um, completely cover the edges that go against the glass. Okay, again here I have my mirrors. These ones here, they measure... Um, 7.5 by 30 centimeters I'll be using them um, on the sides of this box and I'll be gluing the 30 by 30 centimeter pieces on top and bottom side to do this you will need this polymax glue or any other construction adhesive so with your box right side up Apply polymer glue to the top of the box. Make sure you use enough glue for um, for strong hold, but do not um, do not apply so much that it pushes the mirror up the box. Set the mirror down, do it carefully because you don't want a gap between plywood and the mirror. These are beveled mirrors. I ordered them from a local glass company. The cost of these high quality mirrors ended up being um, affordable with beveled edges and also guys if you have any um old mirror around your house you can bring those into a local company to have them cut into the size that you need for your project I will be gluing one side of each box to allow the glue to dry a bit before turning the boxes on its side and gluing each additional mirror.
So after waiting for 10 minutes, I turn the boxes upside down and glue the admission mirror. So guys, you should be um you should take your time when doing this because if you do them at once you risk the mirror slipping a bit. Now guys this is our final part, we'll be gluing uh, the mirror boxes on top of each other so just use generous amount of glue press the mirror down onto the other with firm even pressure So here I use a glass cleaner to wipe um, prints off the table but also a microfiber cloth would work as well. And here is our final look guys i really love this side uh, table in my living room i also love the color it's really add the perfect balance to the space and let me ask you guys will you ever use a mirrored furniture in your home let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below thank you so much guys for watching see you next time